Welcome back, squad making tubers, and let's play Long War Baby 15, stuff like that, live, all that. So I picked out our squad, uh, it's nice having seven people, that's for sure. And uh, it's a heavy abduction mission, so it's going to be a little bit more on the alien side than the last mission. A little bit heavier. Strike one. <laughs> We get the lovely fountain map. Help. So that's where we're going next. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get Another common exalt mission. Hostiles. Covert off mission. This is Big Sky. Strike team is reaching. Okay, we start in the far corner. Strike one is cleared to engage. So, yeah, this is usually you start over here, but uh, this time we started in the odd side. Um, we don't have a lot of close cover. We put four people sort of in cover behind the little abduction pods, but that's it. So what I'm going to do is actually leave people out in the open unless we activate a pod on the first move here, in which case we're screwed, basically. Okay, I think we're alright. So what we want is people that can't move and shoot to get priority on the cover, basically. That way if something does happen, they can shoot next turn. This also includes infantry because they can shoot twice. And the rest of them it doesn't matter so much. Actually what we're going to do is pull the assault back and then put the Rocketeer there. And everybody else can pretty easily move around to whatever we need to do, There's assuming a uh, patrol shows, in, shows up. Or just run away. I'm on it, Commander. We've also got Disabling Shot now. Starting to get a little bit more promoted soldiers. Everyone's a Corporal or a Lance Corporal here. Sounds like floaters. Floaters aren't the worst thing ever. We also have some meld we might be able to make it to. We can't actually make it to the corner of that car. Well, we might. If I moved these two out of the way, someone might be able to make it there. Take a look from here first. It's pretty good positioning. So four floaters. We definitely can't keep that angle open though or they'll just flank us to death. So... One, two, three, four, five. Don't really want to move too far over to the right either. Maybe someone up there. Half cover! I don't like it. Maybe we'll just get lucky and kill them all. Actually, this spot is probably far enough back. If we could kill this one, I don't think any of them will be able to flank Viking. Which means he gets the first shot. Alright, I'm feeling pretty secure. We could go for a disabling shot, but I f I'm feeling like we might be able to get another kill here. Maybe, maybe not just with one person, but uh, if we team up. You're not in cover. You are... What do you think? Could they get... No, I don't think they actually will have enough mobility to make it to the cop car from where they are and still shoot. So I think Fella can take two shots. Gives us a reasonable chance of killing that guy, especially if we can blow up his cover with a rocket. And we have pretty low scatter here. I think this will work. Away. I think we have... We actually lost sight of the one. It's still there. I don't think it's dead, but we lost sight of it because we blew up its cover. Um, yeah, fire in the hole is going to be plus 10 aim if you shoot a rocket before you move. That's why that worked out extra well. And then this guy is now toast. Alright! Fella also has... Opportunist, so he'll make a really good Overwatch shot. Roger that. 
And we'll pull Graham into somewhere safe, because this one is... If anyone could be flanked, it'll be Graham. And then we just need to make sure no one's standing out in the open like a complete fool. I think we'll put the scout on the corner. And we'll actually keep the medic kind of for far back. I could I could throw a smoke down, but I don't think I need to waste it yet. We've got two, but let's save it for a more dangerous situation. I believe there's only one floater left. And we should have at least a couple shots here. That's disappointing. Maybe Fella gets a good overwatch. Opportunist shot. No. Unless it moves again. Or moves forward at least. Alright, that's fine. So it can't be on overwatch. Uh, so it might be a good sniper kill depending on vision and stuff. I would really like to get that meld. Um, we're not in position to run and gun suicide, but if I move up, technically next turn we could do that. Let's send our scout in, see if we can get sight on this guy first. And this is full cover. So. No, it, it really uh, just disappeared. I really want to get that meld, so I'm going to push forward a little bit more than is safe. Okay, this corner is pretty safe then. There could be pods here. Well, there has to be some more pods somewhere over there, so. Careful, careful. Let's actually... Shouldn't get any vision, but this will be closer to the meld. Mm -hmm. Might be a single move, but I doubt it. Oh, I forgot to give my medic a laser carbine. Oops. I do that a lot. I f always forget to upgrade the, w the medic's weapon. Even when I've got a spare. We'll, have, we'll keep a bunch of overwatches. If it does move forward, we should be able to kill it. Okay, the meld's not gone. We actually would need a double move. It might be worth it, because I would not be surprised if this thing disappears next turn. What I'm going to do is take a little look. If I activate a pod, I'll have to pull back. But if I don't, I'll be able to move into this little corner here. And... Uh, and get some melt. You can actually jump over the tree or over the bush there, so. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. Running gun. And we got ourselves some melt. 21 melt. Holy smokes. Uh, we can't even hunker or anything, so you basically just have to overwatch. Good. Well, that was nice. It's always good when you can score some melt like that. Keep the medic safe. Not a very good gun, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of Hannah. I'm actually going to switch places here. I want the scout to reload, and then I'll put uh, Fella with the really good Overwatch up front. Aye, aye, Commander. I feel, Commander. Then these guys. Well, the sniper can stay back here. That's fine, but the gunner is going to need to move up. Doesn't have that long a range. We're green to go. Well, we're gonna move up to here and then hunker down. Look who's here. That's disappointing. I didn't. I didn't follow the beagle path that time. No, nah, not enough range. We're just gonna hunker anyway. Shouldn't have activated that pod, but that's just my life. It's always one square too far. Still, it's only sectoids. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Shouldn't bite me too much. So there's four sectoids. There's still the floater somewhere. They're really trying to fray my assault's mind, but. Apparently, his brain is made of something solid. 
Well, the sniper can only hit that one guy. The gunner has a flanking shot with squad sight, so you ought to take that. That's a pretty good shot. That was also the guy doing the mind melding, which means this is a fairly easy kill, assuming we get luck, a little bit of luck. Bam! This is a good mission. This is how we wrap up a live stream. Just slaughtering these guys. Alright, there's no more cover in the middle because I blew it up. The aggressive thing to do would be to run and gun and murder one, but that's also very suicidal. So we're just going to keep Graham here and hunker down until uh, support arrives. Well, yeah, because no one else will be able to get there to really support him yet. Moving. They're only sectoids, but you don't want to be too brazen. Heading to that location. Ah, we found it. Alright, fella. I have faith in you. Take that shot. Apparently you shot the door in front of you. Well, that was less... Less of what I was hoping for. Shouldn't have moved the infantry up. That'll teach me. I don't have running guns, so even if I went to here, it wouldn't do me any real good. And there's not much I can do, and I honestly expect there's probably a third pod. This is a heavy uh, activity, so moving too much forward is just going to activate another pod anyway, so... We're just going to have to keep our heads down. Well, fella! I'm sorry I put you up in full cover and range of everything, but I didn't. Ah, oh, there's the last pod, I guess. We got a hit. One out of two. We should be okay. We should be okay. We'll have we'll have everyone in a good position to fire on the next turn. We'll have a lot of good shots. I'm, I'm still pretty optimistic. Sniper can see two. Can see that guy and that guy. Our Gatling laser can only see one. So that's probably where you're going to have to shoot Viking. Scout can move and shoot. Also hollow targeting. We've got a rocket. That could destroy his cover. Although there's a lot of shots aiming at that guy right now. But I think it's better to use this rocket now and guarantee that we uh, kill him safely. The more shots we have spare, the better. And this guy should make it much easier to finish this guy off. Also, the uh, Rocketeer only has a laser carbine, which isn't going to one-shot anything anyway. Fella should have two shots. I don't know what he's going to shoot yet, though. It might be worth just flashbanging all these guys if I could get all three. Yeah, that's a pretty good flashbang. I mean, um, our assault could certainly kill the floater, but this will basically neuter half of the enemy squad. We'll probably do that. Let's take this one shot, seeing as that's the only thing you can shoot. And then the sniper only has one shot, so at least we'll take it. Oh, I should have maybe shot this guy with a scout first. Works out anyway. Hello, wooded cashew. That gives... Either a shot there... Two shots there... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna flashbang those guys. So let's just try to make sure this guy goes down. Um, let's use the scout first. Apply hollow targeting, or at least kill it. Or just kill it, flat out. That's fine. So now with two shots at 65%. Yeah. I wouldn't expect any less. 
We're actually just gonna put Fella on Overwatch, Overwatch. and then Flash here. If these kids try to run away, Fella can shoot them dead. I don't know exactly what they're gonna try to do, but I'm not too worried. We could even use the medic to throw some smoke down to double save somebody. The assault is in full cover. It's possible the floater would still have enough mobility to flank him, but I don't know. Let's we'll see what we can do from here. Can't see anything. Actually, Overwatch. I was gonna smoke, but Overwatch will be fine. Yeah, I figured these guys would all just chicken out. That gives us more free shots, basically. Now I wish I had a grenade and I would destroy most of their cover. How is the uh, shotgun? 93. Well, that's a pretty good start. And then you don't have to worry about one overwatch. Not a lot of vision here. We have a scout that could draw out an overwatch. Although the two. The first one is 90% dodge. The second one is 70% dodge. Just trying to decide how safe I want to play it. We could take a couple shots right off the bat. I'm pretty sure they'll stay flash for a couple turns. So we might just be able to kill them as it is, basically. Yeah. There you go, fella. Now that there's only one, it's incredibly unlikely that he'd be able to hit my scout. Not impossible, but really unlikely. But no one else really needs to move up. Well... Nah, it wouldn't be a flank. I could use the scout to draw the overwatch and then take a shot here, but... It's not that big a deal. Put the gunner there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll move up. Actually, didn't draw the overwatch anyway. Location confirmed. Heading there now. Not gonna risk the medic though. Oh look, there was still a floater. I miscounted. That's my bad. Of course, if he just sits there, he's dead. Yeah, not a huge surprise he backs off. This guy is no longer disoriented, unfortunately. It only lasted one round. Actually, that was it. While he was overwatching, he still had uh, the flashbang, so we could have probably quite safely moved around him. You can start with this shot, apply hollow targeting, or just kill it. Still acceptable. Missed the target. And then maybe the sniper can finish it. Or at least hit it. Need to reload soon. 69%. That's all you need. That one, that's your 100%. Good work. Down. And I'm pretty much willing to bet that this is the final alien. So we should be safe to run and gun and murder it. If this one fails, well... It's just really unlucky, basically, in my opinion. Running. If there's another pod. He's down. There is a pod, and we didn't activate it. So, the luck is on our side, after all. Heading there now. That's curious. Very curious. Unless I just miscounted the floaters oh, again. Even worse. Well, we're definitely not going to move forward and activate anything while our assault is kind of up there. We're green to go. Locked and loaded. I thought this mission was over. Oh, I lost some mail. Well, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's not move any forward until everyone's caught up. And I have blown up a lot of the scenery, unfortunately. The bus cover would be nice. We have no more rockets. That's affirmative. Quick look on the left side. I'm gonna make a blue move 
and I can run away if we have to. Okay, just don't activate anything this turn is the rule. We'll do the same thing with the scout, sort of follow the infantry so it's safe. Sniper needs a reload anyway. War Raiders can do it pretty good for us. That's everybody. Except for the medic. Medic will start catching up with the assault. Actually, uh, might as well just join them and cover. Alright, they're directly in front of us. It's a lot of floaters in this map. I was hoping for a crit, but, you know. Ah, oh, come on, team. Let me down. Nope, sorry, Void. We're too low rank to get sca battle scanners. I could have brought one in the items, but he does not have them. So, let's see. I think there's two overwatches. Sad. Gatling laser can hit. Oh, that guy's toast, for sure. Uh, sniper can hit that one. This is the one overwatching, right? So... Probably shoot it first. We're not going to be able to keep uh, fellow standing out in the open like that. I'd like to move him into like this spot and kill that one. So what I'll do is I'll use the gunner... To apply hollow targeting. Actually, he can't hit the one that I'd like him to hit in the sky. So, the sniper... You know what? Why don't we go for a disabling shot, if possible? Oh, only 45%. If this hits, uh, it will change what I do. If this misses, I'll do something different. Alright, that's a hit. No, no, no ammo for that guy. So, we can pretty safely move to here, and wrap up at least one floater for sure. Then the Gatling laser can only shoot one guy, might as well take that shot. And it's a kill, that's pretty smooth. Uh, let's see, this guy is disabled, so you don't have to worry about him, but I'm pretty sure I saw another floater on Overwatch behind him. So, the scout could draw it out with lightning reflexes, or we can just be patient. We'll pull a beagle. That wasn't all that lucky, would. Most of our shots there were in the 60, 70 kind of percent range. We'll give you half cover, and you can just hunker down. And we'll put Necron, who's not got a lot left. I don't think anything's going to come around the left side of the bus, but just in case. We'll take this shot because, well, it's either this or Overwatch. You, you, you haven't been watching very long. Um, I get my share of misses too. <laughs> Do I take that? I forgot to give the laser pistol to the assault as well. We're just going to hunker down here. And overwatch with the assault in case they charge, but I doubt it. He shouldn't have any good shots. Okay, everyone should be full cover or, or hunkered, basically. This guy can't even shoot. Alright, now we just got to kill these two and we're done, I think. Seeing as our Gatling laser can only shoot one, take that shot first. Right, he's got shredding ammo, I forgot about that. Well that guy, I mean one HP doesn't really matter, but... Sniper can hit either or. Uh, McGovern's can only shoot the one, so you might as well take two shots if you need it. Mm, might just over opportunist, overwatch opportunist there. 
Let's go for the... Actually, if this is the last alien, what we can do, we can pretty safely just kill him. This will be hollow targeting. And... Sniper shot? 65? There you go. That should be game! All mission objectives completed. That went really well. We did have a few lucky shots, but I think it was... I, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, puff my own chest a little bit. I think it was played pretty safely, too. I didn't really give the aliens any chances. Or at least very, very few. So, that was a good one. Happy with that. A flawless effort. <laughs> no promotions. <Not> a single <laughs> casualty. <laughs> yeah. Even if we didn't get promoted, I'm pretty happy. We managed to get one meld canister, which had 21 meld in it. A sign that I'm not getting a lot of meld, but... All in all, 10 floaters and 4 sectoids. That was a good mission. Really solid. We will be in touch. As usual, I will check out what the next mission is, but... Uh, I am going to end it here before we start the next one up. Maybe we can get our satellite launched, but no more missions today. I've been, I, we're going to quit while we're ahead. <laughs> yeah, you can have those, sure. That will be Exhaust. Yeah. I didn't want money anyway, right? Thanks, Long War. Thanks, Long War. Well, we're going to France. Um, I guess this isn't actually a mission yet, so let's pick out a scout. Um, we don't have any corporal scouts ready to go. There, maybe I don't have any corporal scouts at all. Pretty sure corporal is when they get uh, gunslinger, right? Let me double check. So we're not going to have any good covert operatives. Maybe I should just send an assault this time. Oh no! Some, one of my scouts will have it. I just didn't check the right one. Uh, it comes with Lance Corporal. I have negative money. Stupid exalt. It's so cheap. And that was the first one. I couldn't even I couldn't even do a scan before that. There's nothing I could do. He just stole a laser cannon from us, basically. Um, covert ops. Covert Ops. Abilities. Not Xiaoji. So, someone that has Gunslinger. Joshua did not. <laughs> All the other scouts are fatigued. Well, let's see. Do you have it? I... You can't even send them when they're fatigued. So I don't have anyone with Gunslinger that I can actually use. I guess it's down to an assault then. The engineering team is doing some tests right now that could be... I'm going to alert the staff as a precaution. This is not going to be a terribly great, uh... Yeah, assaults get it at Corporal, that's it. Scouts is Lance, and... Well... We're going to send one of our unnamed people on the on, operative on the mission. Sucks. Much easier to do with a scout with lightning reflexes and also gunslinger. Much safer that way. Anyway, that's that'll be a mission coming up soon. Six days. Might be the next one, we'll see. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. I guess two days. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think they were coming off fatigue that quick, though, were they? Maybe. I don't know if it would have been around that long. It's probably two days and a little bit more. Probably closer to three. And I don't want to save and try it really. So, or I didn't anyway. So, launch the satellite. We'll at least have one continent safe. See how our money goes up. At there we go. That was worth a hundred bucks. It wasn't just that Mexico. That was the uh, all of our um, aircraft are cheaper on uh, upkeep now. We're not going to buy any more interceptors until we can afford laser cannons for them all, though. But this is definitely going to help the overall finances. So I like the North America bonus. It's pretty solid. Assuming we ever make enough money, we'll probably go for Europe next. Um, you can see our current bonuses. Helps out with psionic training thanks to Mexico. We started with a lab and workshop, which is... I'm not sure as good as I was hoping, but it's okay. And then faster autopsies and interrogations is nice. 
But yeah, we'll probably go for... Um, Europe gives us the 20% boost next. I think that's what I want. Let's just hope we can keep the people in those cities calm. Less maintenance. Last thing we need I mean, Africa's not bad. We can't get Asia anyway, and there's just no way we're going to get South America in time. So it really comes down to Europe or Africa. I think I like the European bonuses more. Um, that one, Germany doesn't matter so much. The French one is really good though. Um, less meld for for mechs. I think that's if I I like running with a couple mechs. This is really going to help. Um, Russian bonus, not bad. A little bit of HP for newbies. Easier to get officer promotions. I don't think that matters very much. Side training time doesn't matter. Defense for snipers doesn't matter very much. Keep everyone out of engineering for a while. Yeah, I would say the European bonuses look a little bit better than African. Um, I mean, you want them all eventually, assuming you're you can manage it. But and then the Asia stuff just doesn't. It's not worth the. It's not worth the trouble, basically. This would be nice. Cheaper foundry projects for cash alloys and aluminum. That'd be really good. Australia's got a nice perk for sure. Oh, sorry, that's that's all of Asia. Yeah, Asia's got a nice perk. That wouldn't hurt either, China. But that's not going to happen anytime soon, just planning in the long run. We'll see what the next mission is still. It's probably the covert one, unless we see a UFO. I need, like, two more engineers. I know we're running low on weapon fragments, but I have to do it so I can build another workshop. Could build an arc thrower. We don't have, a uh, we don't have the lab yet, or the, uh, containment yet, so it doesn't really matter. I expect the next thing to work at is probably should be armor. Um, we've got the meld. We could unlock gene modding. We could unlock some of the... I think this one mostly just unlocks accessories and items for your soldiers for the most part. And your mechs. Or your shivs. We'll start working towards armor, though. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Mexico is now covered. And... A second terror mission. Aren't we lucky? Double terror mission month. So lucky. Well, we're going to save that one for next week. I think I've got enough soldiers to take out a pretty high level squad. Scopes, I can't... I already have scopes unlocked. I just can't afford to build them yet. We'll be able to take out corporals. We'll have at least one assault ready to go. Actually, the, the team is pretty much ready to go fully. Uh, there's only a few people wounded, so... We're ready for it. Um, second terror mission in one month. I hate it when that happens. I think the record is like three. But, uh... Yeah, we'll do that next time. Um, Aswan. It's not in uh, Newfoundland, at least. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is the end of the YouTube. See you guys later next, next time.